Hey man, I'm gonna give y'all the best jump shots for every height and every build in NBA 2K24. I know you're struggling to shoot. All of you are struggling to shoot. I'm also gonna give you the best tips to be successful with shooting so you can enjoy the game. Send this to one of your friends who can't shoot. I know you have plenty. No one can shoot on the game. If I'm running with uh, stage guys and 80 plus win percents and every rec random and no one can shoot, I know your friends can't shoot. So share this to them. I'm gonna give you all the best jump shots, bro. But before we get into all of that, y'all make sure y'all get this video to 400 likes within the first day and I'll add 10 of y'all that type your PSN down below. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest who came in existence. Now, firstly, this jump shot right here. You can't have it because you're not a no life. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be starter three for this jump shot, by the way. Um, it is probably, I don't know. I could just shoot over everyone with this jump shot. And it's like, it's like a normal guy, a guard jump shot. This build is seven foot, by the way, that while well, I'm showing y'all this on y'all. Let me know if you want to see a uh, gameplay on this build, you know? with a 99 block and all these high ass three point and uh mid range okay but yeah this is like one of the best big jump shots okay gotta be starter three to get it no wait not starter three i think starter one wait no hold on yeah you do gotta be starter three i'm tripping now look this is my favorite jump shot right here man when y'all see me live, this is a jump shot I'm using. This is my favorite jump shot. I think it is the best jump shot in the game, okay? T-Mac is the best base, easiest to time. Game's just horrible, okay? I use multiple different builds. I know y'all be, you have such a high three in many. That. This is just one of the builds, guys. I use so many different builds and different accounts all the time, bro, okay? I shoot 75 uh, percent from three, by the way. So, hey, make sure y'all subscribe too. You know, now this is the baby T Mac. Okay, when you mess up your build, a lot of y'all mess it up in the beginning. A lot of us stopped at 86 when you should have went to 87, so you can unlock T Mac. By the way, when you make your builds, make sure you get the 87 to unlock T Mac. By the way, okay, minimum or at least the mid range or the three point. So look. This is one of my builds where I didn't do that, right? This is one of my first uh, builds, right? It's my Magic Johnson build. And this, I can shoot pretty good with, just like the T-Mac, okay? It looked the same. You get the super high release and everything. It's better than JT Thor for me. It's better than all those other uh, jump shots that are... Uh, below the T-Mac range, like all the Littles and the Scotty Pippins and all that. This this feel better to me. Um, And yeah, again, if your, your releases don't work, I mean, again, if you can't get this jump shot, use different releases. The same with all these jump shots. So look, we got Kyle Korver, man. Now look, this jump shot, it's, it's, it's like it's easier to see your release. Okay, it's a pretty nice jumper. Test it out. The T-Mac not working for you because you do kind of drift a little bit and you kind of have more load ups. Try this jumper out. Is, is green bean make your best stream? <laughs> Notice how I said stream, not green. Or scream. <laughs> stream, make your best stream. Okay, look, check it out, man. Test this hoe out. I'm telling you, I got another one for you. Devin Booker, okay? They released this hole. It's kind of cool. It's like the Corver. You can you can see your release cool, right? It's not a lot of drift and it's like nyeh, nyeh. there's not y'all could be shooting over as as much, but still like you know, it has its own bon bonuses that um the drifty jump shot like uh T-Mac, you know, and maybe less load ups, you know. You can use different versions all that this I, I think it's a pretty decent jump shot you could test it out man the corver and the booker them, they're pretty good jumpers but that jared that jared and the t-mac is the for sure okay the corver that's a for surety too 
the booker that holders knew i just wanted to give you the best version of it that i i think that's the best version now look the curry jump shot right here that's the curry look for these uh short builds below the uh six five only use curry and patty mills patty mills i think you gotta be starter one or a starter three or something like that right but if you can't get that use stephen curry or ai okay Allen iverson right those are your jumpers okay curry's the best though okay but patty's better than this hoe but you got to be a certain rep to use that hoe here is the best guard jump shot when you're six five and under okay you shoot over people people saying it's hella glitchy but you have to be a certain rep i think it's starter three or vet three i don't think it's vet three it's one of the uh reps so you gotta play the game a lot if you don't have this base just put on <laughs> just put on curry and jump shots man well at least the bases you might not be able to get the releases but you can work around that and just switch to uh releases but when i use this seven foot <laughs> point center y'all drop a comment below if you want this build i'll be butter bruh you feel me this little eric posh corner the base you know, it's decent. I got nice little releases. You know, you can shoot straight over people. You already seven foot. Then you got a nice release height and a decent speed. Everything Gucci. Good base for bigs, man. Now, the second one I'm going to show you is this Isaac, okay? You can shoot over people even easier as a point center. Decent speed, a little weaker stability. But, you know, your release height is better, man. These two bases as a big... You know, you should really try to get on your build. And of course, the requirements will be lower if you use different releases. And to get all your hot spots, dog, if you're really struggling, my career, 12 minute quarters on rookie. Thank me. Thank me later. That method seems to be easier than the street ball method. Me the street ball method still seems pretty easy, but my career, 12 minute rookie, that seemed crazy easy. A lot of people don't know about that, bro. Okay, and you could just shoot over people. A lot of people don't know you could shoot over these on these like easy settings. I even shoot over them in street ball. A lot of y'all don't know that. Here, man, I want to show y'all this right here, guys. Okay, this is very important. This is so important, bro. A lot of y'all, you're not thinking, man. I've been on at least 40 different accounts this year, right? And I'm noticing something. People don't have their badges or their hotspots, and they're going to play and then they're whining about the game, especially this year since the rebirth, right? It gets you the silver badges or whatever. People aren't getting their hotspots and maxing out their shooting badges. You have to do it, literally. Th this right here, look, y'all are playing and you don't even got this max. How do you know the real truth of the game? You feel me? Look, Hall of Fame MIDI magician, bro. Are you gonna miss a MIDI with that? Especially, I already gave y'all the best pull-ups in the game. Y'all go check it out for your build. I gave y'all the best releases in the game too. And I'm finna go over the best jump shots again. I go, I put in different jump shots every time. But look, you want to max out your jump shots. Look, right here, Claymore. You wanna max this hoe out. You wanna max out Mini Magician. You really wanna max out open looks. This is so important. It will change your game. I don't know why the goddamn modded controller guys, they're not doing uh the badge updates on all the uh shooting badges first. Like, I don't know if I'm just tripping, but I just feel like these shooting badges change everything. Like, like it's not even close. Like when you play with without this and then compared to with this, it's completely different, bro. That Catch and shoot. What are the most important badges, bro? People don't even got their catch and shoot max. They're going to go play and they're missing. Look, I got this whole Hall of Fame. You feel me? People aren't maxing out their badges, especially because of the rebirth. I'm telling you, this is why you're missing way more than not. Look, the green machine, you got to get this whole max. Maybe it might not do nothing this year, but I, I, I don't know in particular what. But I know overall, when you get all your badges, it's way easier to shoot. I'm shooting 75% on an 83-point build, right? Look, Space Creator, max that hole. Watch what happens. It's broken. Look, max that hole. Watch what happens. You, you see these badges? 
You want to max out your shooting badges, bro. The Agent 3s, you want to max this hoe out. Before you say, like, the shooting this and that and that and this. The, the shooting's broken because Mike Wang's playing God. It's giving you random releases, and it's not letting you make it when you do time it right, bro. When you do a little bit wiggly and you still time it right, he's not letting you make it sometimes. It's annoying and broken, bro. It's, it's annoying. Like, like, stop punishing the top players. It's corny as hell. Mike Wang really need to lose his job, bro. Blinders, look. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. The Hall of Fame Deadeye. Max this hoe out. Watch what's going to happen. Okay? Limitless range. Max it out. Watch what's going to happen. You feel me? I'm telling you, bro. Max your badges. If you need the method, let me know. I could get all the shooting badges in probably six hours overall. Like all of them, right? I just don't have the time, you know? This is a new build, by the way. This is a rebirth. I did all this in, in one day. All these badges you see, I did all this in two hours. Before I get into all the jump shots, I want to show y'all this, right? Get your lethal hot zones, okay? 2K Lab did a test, right? You have to at least get your hot spots. Before you play online, get your hot spots, bro. It will be way easier to shoot on every build you use. Get your hot spots. Send this to a friend. Tell them, get your hot spots. Stop making everyone miserable to play the game because you're too lazy to get your hot spots. Get them. The lethal, these purple hot zones, you have to do the art of shooting drill. I think it's open like two times a week. Y'all uh, clarify down below. And also let me know y'all's favorite jump shots down below and uh, anything else, but you know. But look, hot zones, very important. You have to get them. Now look, here are the visual cues explained by Mike Wayne. I personally use release, but you can hear what he says. But look, none of this truly matters because there's so much latency. But you know, you have to let it go before the cue of whichever one you use. It's kind of crazy, bro. But listen up, yeah, li li listen up. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball is raised up above the head before the shooting motion begins. Push, which is the default setting, is when the shooting motion is underway and the ball is being pushed forward. And release is the point just before the ball leaves the shooter's hand. Jump is the point where your player's toes leave the floor. Set point is when the ball... Now look, the whole problem with this is there's so much latency in 2K and there's so there's different latency in so many different modes. So it's kind of hard, you know, you know, but it's still easy, right? You just got to get used to it. You know, you got to have your prediction skills up. You can't always go off the cue because there's so many different latencies. Take off trigger effect. Something should not be vibrating in your hand. You're a grown man. You feel me? Take off trigger effect on your PlayStation and on the game. You can keep on vibration. It's cool. But take off trigger effect. Throws you off. It's ridiculous. When I be playing rec, all I hear old heads, young heads, you know, just turn off your jump shot meter. I don't care if you don't know your jump shot, figure it out. You get a 20% plus boost without the meter. Tell all your friends, share this video to them. I know they're scamming us, but if you want to be able to shoot, <laughs> jump shot boost will help you. If you want to be able to shoot, also even better, Gatorade, okay? Um, you can probably go with one of these hoes or not even use it. Make sure you always do your weekly workouts. They took gym rat out the game. If you do your weekly workouts on a certain level, you're gonna get the extra blue bar that helps you with your shooting and everything you do, correct? Very important, your Gatorade is gonna help you shoot. You, you see how they, everything in the game is designed for you to be in a VC deficit. We are basically paying to play the game. Y'all ain't never thought about that, huh? Now, one more thing. In every 2K, people take all this stuff off to make it have less lag delay. You could turn off your shot feedback. You could turn off everything. If you, like, if you feel like stuff is really bothering you, if you're lag delayed, you turn all this off, it could help. I'm gonna keep it on. But they say you turn all this off. You know, they be doing this in every 2K, like the stage guys. I don't know if it help or don't. The ball trail, they turn it all off. If you're experiencing stuff and you just want to test this out, this is something you could. Hey, y'all click on this video on the screen. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again.
people talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.